leave me a comment down below what you got for LED lights. Oh, look at I got I got braided. And I didn't get myself over quick enough to actually flip my braids on. That's funny I was talking about that. Well, two-wheeled friends, this is probably going to be one of our nicest days in a while. And it's definitely cooled down. If you watch every video, you've probably noticed... If you watch every video, you've probably noticed the progression of the way the video has been going. And now it's nighttime. I have no topic other than I don't know, you can kind of see this headlight how it shines out. But doing a little nighttime riding. Which I don't mind. I mean, I kind of like riding at, at night in town because it's kind of cool with the city lights and all that. But I don't really like riding out of town when it's dark just because of the wildlife. And I know I've kind of touched on that in other videos before. So having a good headlight, I guess, makes a big difference. We all know the struggle that I have had to find a good headlight or the Honda Shadow. This headlight's been pretty good in the Road King. I will just throw a couple snippets up here in the video to show you what this current video is. And I better slow my butt down. So it's just kind of a cheap daymaker knockoff. I put this in last year I had it kind of shining in space probably had like airplanes that were gonna land boy it's windy I don't know if you can hear that coming through my helmet and I finally adjusted it I thought you know if the previous headlight is adjusted a certain way if I take it out and put a new one in the new one should be adjusted the same as what that one was clearly wasn't the case I'd pull up at stoplights or stop signs and sometimes it was mrs. two-wheeled in front of me you know we'd go eat after I got off work I'd be on the bike she'd be in her Jeep and I'd be like I could like see her the back of her head plain as day and it's like yeah that's probably shining a little too high so I adjusted it down and I don't get nearly as much light on the back of people's heads now and people used to flash your high beams at me all the time too like hey your headlights a little bright and I don't get that now either so I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it how it is but in a world where there's so many different light bulbs out there I had a hard time choosing I like a certain look and I like when the headlights off how the headlight will look and then again you know how it is when it's on of course so that's kind of how I choose and then the cost kind of goes into it I thought maybe those people would have got behind me I saw they had their blinker on But I don't have any other LEDs on this Road King, which I should probably change out the indicators and the tail light. Oh, well, nope, I take that back. I got these light bars on the saddlebags that are LED. I forgot that those were LED. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna turn here. This road's pretty dark though. I'm just kind of crisscrossing around talk to you while I'm on my way home I 
I have really highly considered putting on the the passing lamps or fog lamps whatever you want to call them I had them on my 2007 Road King Classic and Mrs. Twowheeled has them on her 2018 Heritage and it's kind of nice because they definitely add a lot of light so when we were traveling down to Lincoln on the way back we were running in the dark for a couple hours and I put her out in front where I could just to get some extra light and then I think we did end up switching off at some point because this light this light was shining in space at the time yet if I recall correctly but I mean you can kind of see it on those signs how it's shining but I've thought about adding them on here. I know most Road King specials don't have it, but there are some that get added. Those of you with Road Kings that added lights, what brand did you add? Maybe that could be today's topic. We're kind of talking about lighting. Don't put links in your first comment because your comment's gonna get blocked and then you're just gonna think I'm deleting your comment or something. But YouTube will definitely block your your link so leave a comment what you have and then wait for me to respond and then I think if you respond with the link to my response it will work but if you have some good passing lamps that you've used you know a certain brand if you've added your indicators and made them to LED let me know what you have in the comments down below as well because that's one thing I definitely want to do is add safety TCMT if you're watching I love these satellite blades the lights how I've added the safety and brightness to the back of this bike if you have something that you think I should put on for indicators let me know if you got a bulb or you probably have more of a whole system type thing but just thought I'd give you a little bit of a shout out too you know these indicators are pretty bright but I think I will call that a wrap on this video because gonna start getting some wind noise here hopefully I'm not getting the mic pops I get mic pops when I got the windshield on but with no windshield I don't so leave me a comment down below what you got for LED lights oh look at I got I got brighted and I didn't get myself over quick enough to actually flip my brights on that's funny I was talking about that <laughs> I can see they're in the air a little bit but I don't care they had bright lights too anyways give this video a big thumbs up if you like watching motorcycle related content and then be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified for future uploads and activities and until the next time two wheeled friends peace out and we will see you later bye bye